In this lesson, we will learn how to plot a histogram in Matplotlib. For that, we will use the built-in Matplotlib method hist. But first, let us understand what is a histogram. So, if you want to represent frequency distributions, you can use the histogram in Matplotlib. Okay, so we can use the hist method as I have mentioned before. The hist also includes bins. Okay, you need to set the bins that is you can consider as a range. Set it as an integer or a sequence. So we will create the following bins for our example from 0 to 20, 21 to 40, 41 to 60 and 61 to 80. Okay, when we will see the example then the things will be more clear. Here we will plot a histogram of marks by students. Here we have our PyCharm ID. PyCharm has a free and open source PyCharm community edition. We are using the same. Create a new project. Go to file, new project. Click on new project. Add the project name. Let's say I added the following name. And here is the location of the project. Click create. We have created the project. Now we will add our file, a new file, a new Python file. Right click on the project, new. Click Python file. Add the name of the file. Let's say I'll add demo1. You don't need to add the .py extension because the Python file is by default selected. Press enter. On pressing enter, now the file is visible. When you'll keep the cursor, the location of the Python file will be visible. Now let us add the program. First I'll set a comment. Now first import matplotlib. Okay, we have imported matplotlib and added a submodule pyplot. For this we have created an alias plt. We will also import numpy for the input. Import numpy as np. We will create an array using numpy. Now we will set the data. Okay, I'll take an array. This will be the marks of students. Okay, let me set some random marks. Okay, we have set the marks of 20 students here. Okay, now plot a histogram. We have also set the bin. Okay, set plt.hist, hist method I told you. This is the PLT, the submodule, the alias for the submodule. Set the array here and then the bins. Okay, now the labels. First comes the X label, that is the X label, that is the label for the X axis. marks student student okay display the figure plot title plt dot title here is the plot title Okay, we have set the plot title also, the label also and now we will file save all.
okay this is fine x label marks and y label student file save all right click run now here you can see the marks in students you can see most of the students got more than 40 marks marks in this range we can set one more bin and I'll run it rerun here it is what I can do to explain the concept let's say I'll set this to 87 and this to 95 now what will happen right click run stop and rerun this will explain you the concept completely here it is now you can check most of the student got got marks in the range of 60 to 80 and after that comes your 40 to 60 okay so in this way guys you can plot a histogram so guys we saw how to plot a histogram using the hist method we have also set the bin okay thank you for watching the video